Finally, at the state capitol today, protesters upset over the decision not to charge the Denver police officer who shot and killed William DeBose on May 1st. Tonight, the DA is speaking out about her decision. The protesters we spoke to today say even after seeing the video, they don't believe the shooting was justified. Denver 7's Gary Bro joins us now. Gary, you followed their march this evening. Yeah, and they walked from the Capitol all the way down uh, a few blocks to the jail where it was raining that didn't stop them. They continued to march all the way down to the jail, continuing that protest. One protester voiced his concerns about the system and was very upset with District Attorney Beth McCann, who decided not to charge that officer. Now, we did speak to the District Attorney, and Beth McCann says she truly believes that it's very clear that DeBose had a gun and that it was pointed at that officer. This is chopper footage of what is believed to be the car William DeBose was driving, appearing to briefly stop after being pulled over by police. According to the DA's report, a passenger in the car asked to get out. Looks like he's stopping now. Colfax and Elliot. Once that passenger was out, DeBose took off. And uh, we'll stay with the car. The car, believed to be driven by DeBose, stopping in a library parking lot at Colfax and Irving. Infrared video shows two people get out and walk towards Irving Street when Corporal Ethan Antonson approaches DeBose. This, according to the DA, is the unedited version. Stay right there for me, both of you. Hands up in the air. DeBose appears to briefly put his hands up before he begins running, and Corporal Antonson and another officer chase after him. On the ground! As we play this version again, DeBose appears to be shot and begins to fall to the ground. The audio is left up and you can hear the sound of metal hitting the ground. Well, we're stopping the video here, but after this is when officers handcuff DeBose and then begin life-saving measures. District Attorney Beth McCann says the officer's actions were justified. I have to look at whether or not an officer should be charged with murder um, when he is in a situation where he has a gun pointed at him. Um, you know, had he not acted, he might have been uh, shot. As we play the DA's enhanced version, the moments before the corporal shoots is highlighted, showing what the DA and corporal believed to be a gun. A letter from the district attorney says a loaded 9mm handgun was recovered next to DeBose. But the DeBose family attorney, Burke Bumgarner, who saw the video before it was released to the public, still disagrees. The video does not show Mr. DeBose. Uh, pointing a gun at the officer who shot him or even facing the officer who shot him. At the end of the extended body cam video, the corporal explains to another officer what happened. He's running this direction, he draws out here, and he comes at me and points at me, and I draw out with him while we're running. And this protest was planned well before the body cam footage was released of the incident that happened on May 1st. We asked the DA why the body cam footage was released today. She says they were waiting on things like the autopsy and the final statement. And today was the earliest they could release it. Reporting live here in Denver, Gary Broad, Denver 7. Gary, thank you. The restraining order that limited Denver police's use of force against peaceful protesters is set to expire tomorrow. It went into effect earlier this month. The order prohibits officers from using things like tear gas, foam bullets, and pepper spray. Despite a push to have this extended, a federal judge said there must be proof of further misconduct to extend the order. And tomorrow, Governor Polis will sign a sweeping police reform bill called Enhanced Law Enforcement Integrity. This bill bans the carotid hold. It puts more requirements on district attorney offices about reporting officers' use of force, and it also requires every agency in the state to use body cameras by 2023.